Cardi B is so lame. This girl went on her Instagram and Twitter to thank her fan base. Okay. And I said fan base because they posted her a gift and she was bragging about it. Okay. I think Cardi B fan base and herself is so pressed that Nikki fan base is actually lit. Nikki has one of the most largest fan base in the music industry. And when Pink Friday album two was about to drop, I remember the Barb's, you know, promoted this gag city marketing strategy, you know, to boost Nikki's album. So I think Cardi B saw all of that and got super jealous and was like, why does my fan base do something so extravagant for me? So Cardi B fan base was like, you know, we need to do something for Cardi B. And Cardi B did that stunt with breaking up with Offset as if that wasn't a plot twist because she is still with Offset. That was just a PR publicity stunt, whatever y'all need to call it, okay? So she wanted sympathy from the audience. She wanted people to recognize her while Nikki was trending. And that's jealousy. I don't need to break it down for y'all. So she was like showing off with this stupid ass gift talking about, oh, I have the best fan base girl. Couple months ago, weeks ago, you were cursing your fans off, telling them they ain't shit and people's mom is gonna die. And you were talking all that lame shit about your fans. And now you have the best fan base because they sent you a gift because you were so desperate for attention and sympathy because she took to her Instagram crying about offset, you know, leaving her in her most vulnerable time. Like, girl, nobody gives a shit, okay? Offset is still with Cardi B and Cardi B is still with Offset. They're both toxic for each other. Cardi B just cannot stand the fact that she tried to ruin Nikki's career and it didn't work. So many people still give Nikki love and respect. People still invite Nikki to shows and to do interviews. And plus the barbs, like I said, it's one of the most relentless, wild, most iconic fan base in the music industry. You have the Navy, the Taylor Swift fans, the Beyonce fans, the Beehive, but the barbs astounding. Okay. Nothing beats the barbs. Also, Jason Lee, Bobby Lights, and all those other, you know, love and hip hop stars, they have an issue with the barbs because of how protective they are of Nikki. Listen, if, if those guys want to attack Nikki and say something bad by right, a fan is, a fan base is supposed to protect their number one artist. So why do they have a problem if they're protecting Nikki? You come at Nikki, they're going to come at you. And that's how the business is. That's how it works. And they're like, the barbs is this and they're so problematic. First of all, y'all want to shade Nikki and get away with it because you don't want no one to protect Nikki. And because the barbs are there, they are, they feel defeated. They want to say Nikki's the villain. She's this bitter old person, but actually you're shading Nikki and the barbs are chewing you guys up. And that's why y'all so mad, but I'm so happy. Everyone is actually seeing the type of person that Cardi B is. If Nikki moves, she moves. If Nikki spits, she suck it up. And that's the truth. But let me know what y'all think down below in that comment section. Click that notification bell. Share if you care. And see y'all next time. Thank you for sipping with us.